The sequence diagram captures the interaction between collaborating parts of a system. As part of the behavioral representation set, it enables you to focus on data and the resultant flow of control between components. The sequence diagram is available for entities in the function class, as well as any other subclasses of processing unit. This partial representation is particularly useful in understanding and confirming interactions early at each level of the system definition effort. The sequence diagram is calculated based upon the behavior defined in the EFFBD and activity diagram. Therefore, this tutorial assumes that you have viewed either the EFFBD or activity diagram video. Function nodes are placed along the vertical lifeline corresponding to their component allocation. In the event that a function has not yet been allocated to a component, you will see a lifeline labeled unallocated. This is helpful to identify if you have any functions that need allocation. Function names can be shown by selecting the option Show Function Names from the Properties tab of the toolbox. The closed arrows on a sequence diagram represent control data, triggers that serve to synchronize interactions. An arrow entering the node triggers that function, while an arrow exiting the node is an output that goes to another function. When the Show Inputs option is enabled on a diagram, open arrows on the diagram represent data stores. Data stores do not trigger functions. However, they are available as applicable functions are encountered in the system model. Arrows that enter from the left edge of the diagram are external items that originate outside of this level of decomposition. Arrows that exit the right side of the diagram are outputs that are not input to or do not trigger anything in this level of decomposition. When functions occur in parallel, they are encompassed by a square labeled par in the top left corner. Functions within a select construct or a replicate construct on an EFFBD or activity diagram will be displayed in a similar box labeled alt. In the select construct, you'll notice a dotted line running from left to right. This indicates separate branches of the construct. In this instance, there are two branches. Functions within a loop construct or an iterate construct on an EFFBD or activity diagram will be displayed in a similar box labeled loop. The sequence diagram will also show structures that are nested within each other. For more information or resources regarding Genesis, please return to our website or contact our support team. Mm -hmm.